I am in. Hi, everybody. It is Monday. It is 420. And we are celebrating on the D. What are we celebrating? We are celebrating Moyer in here on a local music Monday. I'm trying to get this out to a little Facebook. Jeff Moyer's in the house. It's, it's, it's really oh. foggy in San Francisco. Go. Oh, no. Dude, I don't know what it is with the Moyers, man. There's gotta it's be. A, there's gotta that, be it's like. That, a, it, it's that dial up. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna improve this year. This was the year we were gonna actually get internet. But Todd, you know, Todd, I, know I, just, still, Todd, I, just, I know you're still there. There's gotta be a disclaimer or something. We'll be invited to guest on. You know. I just activated my AOL instant messaging account. We're rolling with it. Check me out at myspace.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh man forward slash com- bag of dicks there we the, go the, <laughs> the, the, the comedy is off to a raring start right now justin Atta smithson how, how are you buddy you just wrapped up a nice little live set for yourself out there i think that's a great idea you should go live on a monday before you, we do this podcast as we do yeah, local music gonna... mondays every monday yeah it was cool yeah definitely it, it, I feel your energy is really high today from it. Oh, big time. Absolutely. Yeah. I just, I, I love, you know, it's, uh, it's how we used to be, uh, you know, when we, when we used to play out in bars all those years ago, you know, uh, you know, playing a set, you can tell with a set, you're still kind of flying high, ready to go. So, you know, it works for me. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. And Jeff, happy 420. You're probably really not partaking today, but I do see that you're partaking in a bottle of Jack Daniels. So let's celebrate, brother. Well, you know what this is, is that I actually had gotten this from a friend uh, that bought a trailer for me. And I said, you know, when I make my first million, I'll celebrate. They ain't happening. (laughs) 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 A little premature, huh? Uh, I am. I. I. I'm in the. I'm in the red. <laughs> I'm actually drinking Crystal Light. I'm gonna keep it, you know, somewhat. Wow. Whatever. Whatever. So uh, what are we, so, so so someone said they had a question for me, and I think uh, it was I do. Z. And it was. And it, my only question that I have for you, because I figured just the three of us would shoot the shit and have a conversation. But we might as well start off with the question I do have for you. Do you yes. think if you grew hair, you would have Stamos hair as well? Absolutely not. Absolutely Tim, not. No, no Tim, Tim is a dick, and I got the dick. That's the difference between the brothers. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Yeah. All right. So that's where it is. So, okay. You know, I have. A, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, he's awful. Um, <laughs> That's it. That's all I have to say about that. So you're it's saying terrible. you're you're all meat and he's all <laughs> potatoes, right? He's not even potatoes. It's all hair. That's all. His stuff. <laughs> 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 Look at oh, Santa, Santa Claus. <laughs> Never mind. Just he's coming out mind. swinging today. Yeah, yeah I know, right? Yeah, yeah. coming out. And with the one-two punch. Here we go. Oh Come man. On. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so gay, Jeff. <laughs> Do the bet. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me let me ask a question. I got a question. Uh, so uh, obviously, Gridley Page was always like a you know a brother thing in a sense. I mean, maybe it started off from ulterior motive, right? I'm sure uh, that was that's how it began. And then and then, how did you come into playing, you know, or supporting? your brother's shenanigans uh my parents made me do it (laughs) this for real yeah no i'm kidding (laughs) no Uh, no i was you know you're 15 years old and you you want to you want to go play and obviously it was a lot of fun and and Mm -hmm. uh I uh, filled in. In fact, Dave Borgia, who's been a multiple guest, you know, you know multiple times on the show, um, he got massive diarrhea one night at Garden Cafe, <laughs> and they, I was eleven. So you know, I always have been around the band. And I think, it's, especially you have a kid, you know, you have your kids, and and now I have my two boys and stuff. Is is exposing them to music constantly, no matter mm-hmm. what. And sure. I, when when I was. When I was like eight or nine years old, I used to go watch Culprit, which was Tim and Matt's first band with Todd Weeks and Kirk Kemp. I would right. go down and sit in the sit in the bedroom, you know, their, Tim's 
bedroom was in the basement because mom and dad didn't like them, so they moved into the basement. <laughs> um, and uh, so I would just sit there and watch them play. And that's how I taught myself to play was, you know, like watching Matt. Matt was 23 years old and I, you know, eight, nine years old. And, and uh, oh, so you know, he's just, pretty old then, huh? Yeah, Matt's very old. Very old. Yeah, he's, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he's high risk right now because he's so, so like the, uh, high risk the, for COVID. You know, so so. Let's, let's just let's tell everybody the age difference. I mean, it's pretty pretty drastic between you and Tim. I mean, he's got to be like in his sixties now at this point, right? Tim is sixty-seven wow. right now. Yep, he looks, I mean, he looks, he, he looks damn good for 67, I got to say. Well, you know, what I, mean? But, you know I mean, uh, you, have a, you have an American Express card, and <laughs> you have an account at Dress Barn. You can get away with everything, so it's, it's fine. But, you forgot the AARP card. No, he has the AARP card. Oh, yeah. Wait. And he has the same Wi-Fi if connection. You, yeah, the same exact <laughs> Wi-Fi you connection. Up, are you guys still there, or did my internet break? No, we're here. Yes. Oh, my God. This is terrible. What is this? Okay, here we go. I just moved it slightly to the right, so we're in better shape. Um, uh, we, uh... Oh, they're, they're miss <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, they don't have internet out there it's in San the Francisco. Fun. Hold on. <laughs> so, anybody want lobster? Hold on one second. Here we go. <laughs> so, so uh, it was like, 420 so, and San Francisco's in a fog yeah, right now. Yes, I know, right? Yeah. So, like, uh, so, so, like, were you nervous? Like, the first time that you, that you performed, uh, were, you, were you nervous? I mean, did you just know that that was like your thing, or you know, um, like, I, so what I happened? Was, Tell us the story on, on the so, first time so you ended up playing. Eight, 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 nine years old, and I went out and my father called my mother and uh, said, Dave's sick, because he got sick the night before, and said, Dave's sick, where's Jeffrey? <laughs> and she's like, are you sure? And my father, being my father, God rest his soul, I love the man. Yeah, absolutely. Just bring him already. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, uh, uh, Nine, ten, eleven, or whatever age was. It was within that range. I, I, they loaded me in the car, and uh, uh, I went out and you know uh, jumped behind Dave's kit, and you know Tallarico and Sean Kelly were in the yeah. band at the time when all this mm -hmm. happened, and and you know they they're awesome, and and you know Tim had to come down and give me a pep talk. <laughs> oh, you gotta, you gotta keep it simple, and blah blah blah. Uh, and, and Mike Tallarico goes. Tim, shut the fuck up. Just let him do his thing. So that's, that was it, you know. And and, uh, and uh, I remember, I remember to this day, we started with a live by Pearl Jam. That's how we started the show. Oh, right. Yeah. And of course, it, 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 I was watching a lot of like uh, the Saturday Night Lives, and uh, the drummer was David Bruzen at the time. So um, I think that's his last name. Whatever. Um, so I would always watch that performance. I would always watch them, Stone Temple Pilots on Saturday Night sure. Live, and it was always getting me really excited. So I always wanted to, you know, I, I'm like, I'm going to play like Dave live. You know, I'm 10, 11 years old, and I'm going to play like yeah. Dave, and blah, blah, blah. So I played it all open and just heavy as shit. You know, the hi-hat was open, and I'm pounding <laughs> the shit out of drums. And, uh, and it was, it was, it was a blast. I had a, I, I had a great time and it was, you know, being that experience. And I would always go see the bands with, you know, my, my mom would go with my father. My father was our sound guy, you know, yeah. for years and, and through culprit and all that stuff. And, uh, so I would occasionally go watch the band. It was always being exposed to the band and also being exposed to being around the scene, which is like, that's the worst place to put a kid, you know, at that age, you know, what are you doing? You're taking a lot, you know, 10 year, 11 year old to the bar. <laughs> Needless to say, I, I, you know, I never did cocaine. I've never done anything like that. You right. always saw that kind of stuff. I'm like, ah, so what if I'm an alcoholic? But that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was in the same boat as you. I started yeah. when I was 13, so that was a whole, you know, I was in the bars when yeah. I was 13, and I, I avoided that for some reason. Yeah. I don't know how, but. Well, you, you, know. always, you always see it, and it's like, sure. oh, I don't want to you, be around that, you know? Yeah, you see like, the effects. I, you see the effects before before everybody else your age yeah. sees the effects, you know what right. I mean? Right, and, and, so. it's, and, it's, and it's important. You know, it was important. I think it was yeah. even do it again. I would do it again, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I'm the biggest jackass probably you guys know period but it's like yeah you know, you're I'm here <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, you know i'm you know i'm here here i am you know i'm, I'm second generation my father's business and took over every past and 
and you find yourself learning business and learning financials and all that kind of stuff. Right, right. And, you know, especially now that you're dealing with this crap going around, now that you're weathering the storm and you're sure. figuring out how to weather the storm and what things to do. And, and uh, you know, we're feeling confident we're in really good shape and should make out just fine. So it's, uh, it's, it, it's definitely, you take every, and it's the same thing with people that want to like learn music or do certain things. You know, it's like, it, it's funny. I never, I so thought I was going to be a business owner, owning an yeah. agency, all somehow all related to each other. So where was that first day? Uh, uh, Garden Cafe. Garden Ooh, Cafe, that's Garden right. Okay. Cafe. Garden Cafe. Yeah. Five. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that's no longer there anymore. They knocked it down, right? That's Tony's house. Yep. Ah, that's okay, Tony's house got put there. Yep. See, yep. back in the day when you had the Route 5 tour, there were so many bars that you could play Oh, there play was. At. You had Looney Tunes, Blue Mule, Garden Cafe, Nothing Fancy, even though Nothing Fancy's still Dude. there. But it was like the Route 5, and then you had yeah. Fozzie's, the Route the, 5 tour. See, one of our first gigs was at the uh, Sunrise Lounge on uh, Route 5. Like, yep. I was on, and Skyler used to be called uh, Dino's, I think, right? Yeah, Dino's yeah, was, or something like that. And then one of those Before city motels that. where you put a quarter in the bed and it vibrates. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was yeah. also, there was uh, Jeremiah's uh, Squat and Gobble that was down on five. I can't remember. Yep. There was a Chinango. There was a lot of there. bars to play at on yeah. Route 5. Yeah. It was the Route 5 tour. It sure exactly was. exactly what it was. That's how, I think like, that's how we all started, you know. But yep. um, I uh, I was hoping that one of your first gigs was at Brownies the night that I met Tim and he uh, he gave me the, the hand. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk right now. Yeah, you know, let me tell you something. It's 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 it's. I'm still I'm still I'm still offended by that. I really am. I, 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 I still I, take I, it I, back. I, I used to. It's hard play for me to Mar trust him now. I, I used to play with two Marshall Stacks on stage, and um, I had to go down to a combo amp because uh, <laughs> Tim's ego was so huge I couldn't even fit the amp on stage. So you know, it's it's. I we, all kid, we all kid aside. Let me tell you something. And, and, and he he has taken shit from me over the years like you wouldn't believe but we've Don't, had we, that's we, a fact. You know, we I, you know, of course he is of course <laughs> he's he the only person I'm that's busy at the office he's the I only person that's commenting <laughs> yeah of course he is 13 yep. comments all from jeff or all from tim yep, yep there you go I'm, let me let me see this shit wait wait so. jeff finish what you're gonna say about him though you're like all kidding aside Cause we <laughs> no all uh, yeah it was gonna be really nice but he can go to hell now so <laughs> <laughs> no I, I don't care you know what I, yeah I, I, I do again you know I mean are you guys still there is my internet yeah you got to start over though no that was it I I, I finished. <laughs> <laughs> That was it. You didn't see that? I no, I missed ten, it. I went on for 10 minutes. What happened? Take two. <laughs> no, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, seriously, all kidding aside, uh, we, we've, we've gone through a, 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 a bunch of shit over the years, and we're definitely two ends of the spectrum and stuff, but, you know, it's, uh, he's my family. He's my brother. Uh, and we have another brother, too. He's a pervert. No, but he's... <laughs> <laughs> but uh no much love we, tommy yes much love tommy but uh all my you know my brothers are very important to me and and, and their happiness and everything too and we've mm -hmm. had uh tim and i have shared it a long time and done it a long time together and it was it, it was been an awesome ride he just wanted to continue the ride and, it, right. and uh I, hey you can't blame him for it you know at, yeah. at 71 it's 71 years old i mean i can't believe yeah. he's still doing it i, I can't uh, believe how, how well he moves around the stage at 71 yeah. i can't i, yep. I just yep. can't believe it well, because he does cardio. I, I can attest to the fact that he does work out. He, oh, yeah. I see him, yeah. I see him in gym. He, so he, I think that the, he's, I he's think in the, the gym. I think the wardrobe, the wardrobe change, though, is because I, I like his sweat glands are that of a 71-year-old. So, he, he's, you know. in, he's into a guy named Jim. What? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know a Jim. I don't know. So uh, I got I got another question to ask too. So is there ever a chance that Jeff Moyer will play with with poor Tim again? Because usually you say you're coming and then you say you're parking the car, and it's the, the running <laughs> joke. But is there a chance that we might actually see you play with us again? I think now is a perfect time that we get together. Yeah, absolutely. Let's just do it. Let's let's do it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now it's a perfect time. right now. We're practicing social distancing, and there's a massive pandemic that's comparable to 1918 of the the, the flu pandemic. Now it's better influenza, than ever. Yep. Yes, yes. Uh, Jeff, I was, uh, Jeff, I was kind of hoping you would do this in the car as you were parking. I think yeah. you would just do this whole thing in the car. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? Yeah. Where am I going? <laughs> just stay in the front seat, you know? I'm in the same parking lot. I'm in the same parking lot. I'm, I'm parking down a single town square. I'm at right Target right now. Someone <laughs> picked me up. I'm trying to take the bus number seven, and no one's picking me up. I guess I missed it. I got to uh, tell no, you, Z, I, it, yeah. it looks like there's a ton of comments right now, but they're all Tim. Yeah, we, you know we have to get to them. We, we have, we have like we have like thirty five uh, views right now, and it's all of Tim's iOS devices. Yeah. All of his iPads, <laughs> yeah. everything yes. is logged on right now. I got them everywhere. I've got, yeah, I'm I'm everywhere. everywhere. I'm, I'm so busy at the office. I can't believe what's going on at the office. I'm so busy. I've I got them surrounded face. right I've, now. I've been yeah. on Facebook and Twitter all morning, commenting <laughs> in MySpace. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why um, he talks like that. He doesn't tell you. Hey, no. do that. Guys, I've been so busy on the <laughs> You know, we have to get to his comments, though. We have to. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. Well, I because, open them up. I'm sure, so, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay. I, uh, I love this. He says, both of, he says, both of you guys are dicks. Z is my only friend. Uh, Every friend, single dude. comment has been Tim, and yeah. Dave Borges just watching. Vicky oh, Dave Borges is on. Hey, Dave. Vicky, Vicky Scott. Scott. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so you always have massive diarrhea. John, Dave? Is that no, you. <clears throat> that was from do I, No, I... I, I do, uh, yeah, so much shit, according to him. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Am I still here? We good? We good? My internet? Yeah, you got to right. stop hey, checking hey. the comments though, Jeff, because you die yeah, out. Yeah, I guess so. Time. This is, you know, yeah, I no, guess so. no bandwidth. <laughs> Too much for the dial. <laughs> He's running at 128 kilobytes per second. <laughs> All right, so is that Jeff, good? I think that's Jeff, good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're great. You're great. So uh, he was saying he was very nervous the first time you guys played with him because you were you were so young. Now this leads me to this question, Jeff. Now when you were going to high school. Were the kids, like, thinking you were cool because you were playing in this band on the weekends and being in bars or, st or something like that? Or were you just getting picked on? Were you, like, bullied? Which, which end of the spectrum was that? I was prom king. I was prom Wait, king. That's not serious, right? You're not serious. Yeah, I was prom king. You were prom king. Yeah, because I got all the underage people in the nothing fancy kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's make this son of a bitch king. <laughs> so, it, no, I'll be honest, we were a really small school. It was, uh, you know, it was K through 12, I think, with 700 kids. Because uh -huh. it was just, it was Madison. Yeah. Um, but everyone knew each other, and all. You know, we, we, and our, our class was, like, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, tight and stuff. So, because everyone, like, knew each other, especially in Madison. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I became prom king. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And did you also spike? Did your, you also spike prom? the prom? Did you spike the punch at your prom? Is that a, another reason why too? No, I did not do that. That did not happen. <laughs> I, that, 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 that didn't happen. Uh, maybe. Um, hold on. Here comes another phone call. Oh, it's a potential uh, spam. Never. Uh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> there we go. I'm right here. Stop it, Chuck. Uh, Put your phone on here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm running. I, I, I'm, well, I did, but then it knocked me off online. So okay, but. so there's another question that he's asking me to ask you: Is the time you and him and Matt came back from Carmela's? What did you do in Matt's car? Is that where the diarrhea comes in? He wasn't there. Number one, he wasn't there. So he's. If you're gonna do it right, if you want to get into shit stories, we can get into shit stories. I can write a book. It's fine, but no, I got Matt. I got sick in Matt's car on the way home because we had chicken parmesan night at all you could eat Carmelo's, and oh god, I had peanut butter pie afterwards, and I was pushing a good three hundred at the time. So, um, and I got sick, and I ruined my pants, and and Tim had to go in, and or Matt had to go in and look for a pair of pants for me, and. 
I mean, that's it. I mean, people shit their pants, Tim. It's not a big thing. You shit your pants at Zares. So. Zares. <laughs> you asked him about that. He was on the band trip, and he had white pants, and, and he had to go to the bathroom, and he missed the toilet bowl and shit all over his pants. If, well, you, I mean, wanted, the, the, if you want to go tip for tat here, make sure you bring your age. It's funny you say that because uh, Tim, Tim I've, I've heard a rumor that Tim was a, uh, a jazz drummer back in the day. Tim was a, actually a very good drummer. Yeah, I've heard that. Did if, you know that, if, Z? If, if, I didn't if, know that. that does, you, it doesn't surprise me, though. If you no. like mediocre drumming, <laughs> Tim was <a> man. So. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. No, no, uh, no Tim, uh, Tim was very, very good. Uh, he was very good. He would play at Morrisville College, and and uh, yeah, it was great. It was a good reading. They had, you know, he had technique. <laughs> 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 yeah, never mind. We won't go down that road. But uh, moving, yeah. moving right along. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I have another question as well. Uh, you and Molly just went, uh, you guys just went live on Facebook mm -hmm. when this whole thing kind of first began and uh, raising some money. And uh, is there any plans to do that again in the near um, future? That's the first part of the question. I have two parts. We, we, this is a two-part question. Yes, it's a two-part <laughs> uh, question. Is, uh, <laughs> we're, we kind of discussed about doing some stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, of course, we did that for uh, Wisp Baking Company of Utica. Yes. Uh, uh, Doug was... Um, uh, Doug, they were raising money to kids during the pandemic as well. My right. internet break? There we go. It, it, it broke for a second. Uh, yeah. So it broke for a second. So, yeah, there was money. We, we did very well, and a lot of people brought down stuff. Uh, and we, I did a last minute and I was yeah. just going to go live by myself sure. and I only know three songs and so that wasn't going to work out. <laughs> um, so I ended up calling, I, I, I go to Molly. I'm like, do you want to, you want to just do it? We have, we literally Molly and I had not played a note together since 2015. Right. Right. Night. Um, you know, we just, uh, we play around the house. We you know the kids are singing kids songs and the wiggles and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but that that's that was it. So we just it all we, we sat down the night before, kind of went through stuff, and and kind of came together. We thought we were only going to do like you know half an hour, and it turned into like an hour and a half, and we were just pulling out songs and kept on drinking and having a good time, and and people were having a good time at home because we we're getting oh, a ton yeah. of comments, and it was it was like the, it, I'm like oh the magic's still there, <laughs> you know. It's sure, like, sure. You know, we we haven't done that in a long time, and it was great, and. Um, uh, we we talked about that we possibly going to do something again. Um, yeah. Uh, you know when when or when it's fitting. Uh, we just you know we're doing it for fun and we're doing it to raise any money that we can and that we yeah. feel we want to give to or you know get people to give to. Um, yeah. So I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, so that's why I'm doing this a lot. So uh, Ricky Bobby, <laughs> what do I do with my hands? <laughs> You do whatever you got to do, Jeff. So part, part two, part two of that question was, uh, which one, which one, if not both of you, were hammered that night? Because I watched you on the I big was. screen. I, I watched, really I watched you on big screen, and you guys were fighting over who needed to pee first. So yeah. I was. Uh, I think you we're. Know, I think we're both feeling very good that night. It was I think fun Molly, to watch. I gotta say, yeah, I, I think Molly. Big screen. Molly is. Um, she she is on night duty with a lot of the boys, but now both of us are. Sure. Uh, because I, I take Jack, she takes Joey, our five, you know, Joey's our six month old. Yeah. Uh, um, and, uh, so she, she, you know, she has to, we both do it. And I get around, you know, with the whole drinking and all lot. I have one beer a night maybe. And I actually sure. quit drinking for 17 weeks for a while. Yeah. I remember then, that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, you know, the pandemic hit and all bets were off. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> so, but you know, we I kid around, but we, we you know I'm one beer and I eat, and uh, she drinks maybe once or twice a week at most, and it's like a glass of wine. You know, we're pretty yeah. we're pretty old fuddy duddies now. So we <laughs> but that he said but fuddy that, duddy, you know, fuddy duddy. Uh, that night we were uh, we had a good time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, even just doing it down there, and you're getting text messages, and you're getting you've seen all these people and the amazing thing you know justin can even say this too is how many people around the world you know can watch you from anywhere and feel like mm -hmm. you're in the same room with them even during, sure. during this whole entire time you know her yeah. sister lives in canada she was commenting and watching the whole show and had a wow. blast yeah. you That's know great. so you know it, it was a lot of fun 
Um, well, that's, I mean, and, I think uh, that that's what we're all, we're all generally trying to do with this live thing is trying to bring people together and, and keep people positive through this whole thing, because it's been a, uh, it's, yeah. it's been a hell of a ride for a lot of people and music, you know, seems to bring people closer together, you yeah. know, and kind of make, even, even if it makes you forget for an hour, you know what I mean? Well, that's, it, you know, I mean, and I mentioned as well. So Justin, I are, we're going to do our power trio song next because yep. we're waiting for we're waiting for Keith to have his arrival of a sixth ch child. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Keith. Um, and um, you know, Gary's helping me with another tune, Gary Johnson and stuff. And it's been it's been kind of like because I haven't really played a lot of like music or done a lot of recording or even like that. So it's been kind of a nice excuse to get in, the, in my home studio and, yeah. and kind of do stuff. So Justin and I are doing synchronicity too, by the police. And, oh, cool. um, yeah, it's going to uh, be doing, sick. Doing a cover of that. I'm Jeff is not up. happy because I'm making him sing the song. I he don't not happy about it. it. Look, Too bad. Justin, Justin Smith is one of the best singers in, in the central New York area. I agree. And you're going to, and you're gonna have me sing it, you asshole! It's, it's like, just way too high for me. Just, well, no, it's out of my it's, range. It's, it's, yeah, but I sound like a, every time I hear playback of me singing, I sound like I'm a freaking old McDonald. It drives me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just every time it's nasally. I sing through my face. I sound like a jackass. But um, we, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, Mike Brindisi actually put on my Facebook. Will you cover a tune for him? And it was a Kenny Loggins tune. Uh, what's the name of it? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, That's the one you and Gary are doing, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, meet me halfway. Uh, meet me halfway. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Typical. Typical so request I, I from Mike Perdisi. Yeah, it's like typical. I'm like seriously. So like I'm actually <laughs> sitting in the studio. And, uh, you know, put a lot of trust in Gary with his parts when he gets to it and all, all that stuff. And, um, you know, mixing the big drums, the big snare drum shot and all that kind of stuff sure. as well. Um, so it's been fun to really bring out my chops and be able to use them again because it's like uh, it, it, it's it's almost like therapy, you know, right. during this. It's I mean, I, I, think that, uh, yeah. I think that everybody understands why you – uh, obviously why you quote unquote retired from music. I, I know that uh, myself included, there's a lot of people that, that miss you and Molly or, you know, both of your talents. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, are you guys planning on retiring forever or is this something that like when the kids I, I start think, getting older? Well, and I, and that... I, think it, I think it all in general, we don't know, you know, I mean, it's, sure. we, play, we play it day by day and stuff. And, but I mean, do you, you miss know, it? I miss, I miss, yeah. I mean, I miss, I miss, playing portions of it where it's, uh, you know, interacting like with you or interacting with the guys, right. you know, yeah. it, 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 Corey Coleman always said when we played with, with uh, Mojo and Professionals. Yeah, that was cool. I love part, that. Part of the playing was the hang. It's yeah. the hang. It's hanging yeah. with the other guys. And yeah, it's, absolutely. It's getting ready. It was the same thing when I, I did a uh, 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 short run with Paint and Black, yeah. um, which was Dave Peck and all this stuff. It was the hang. You know, we had a great time and stuff like that sure. uh, as well playing, but it was also the hang before, you know, we would go and, and, and you know, grab a couple of drinks <laughs> and, and be able to hang out. And it's the same thing when, when it was Jeff and Molly, Mojo and Professionals was the hang before the show, you know, and be able to you know, right. talk and we're kind of kind of BSing and having a good time and stuff like that. And then we go out and play and it just yeah. kind of all happens and stuff. Right, too. right. But it's, uh, it's the hang. I mean, that's part of it. It always is, yeah. Part of the reason, you know, or most of the reason that I play is, is to hang, you know, hang out with the guys, hang out and do this. Yeah. It's not because I'm thrilled about doing that, that, <laughs> that, 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 that new Nickelback tune this week. Um, oh, it's, God. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's because I, I, I'm thrilled to hang and, and, and chatting and BSing. Yeah. It's like, you know. Well, there's, the, parts, the, there's parts of the show. I mean, I know that there's parts of the show. I've been with these guys showtime for 26 years so i mean there's points points in a night still that you know we do stuff that we don't think about you know what i mean right. but we're all together in a certain sense and that's i mean that's a cool feeling too you know what i mean yeah. like, you know not just the hang but there's there's certain parts you know on stage and would you agree with that there's certain parts on stage that like you know even when you sit in with poor tim that like you'll do something cool and i'll look at you and well, yeah, i'll do something yeah, was, cool you look at me you know well, it, was, it was funny it was i remember i came out um 
you know, the the one time, you know, we uh, Molly and it, it, Molly and I, we went through, you know, some personal things, and it's been, been very public about it when we when our, our first one had passed. Uh, you know, it was still born. Sure. You know, and I, it, at the time, it's like I wanted to quit music. I was just yeah. like, I'm done. I don't want to do anything and stuff. But then, kind of, mm-hmm. you know, you take time. You take your time to heal and all that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. what we just. I remember I said, I just texted Justin. I'm like, Hey, I'm, I'm on my way. And I've got my bass and I got my bass rig. I'm coming out. Yep. And I just, I showed up and I remember playing, uh, uh, bare naked ladies with you guys. Yeah. And, and it was something happened. You always drop off and you'll do that. Yo, you know, you'll do that thing. And I remember I hit a set of harmonics at the time that you did it and pushed the neck of my bass. And yeah. I remember Tim was there and you were there and it just, it was like, it was like a magical thing. And it's certain sure. things when you, when you can hit certain times together and you're, you're, yeah. you're just like, that's what I get thrilled about. I don't want to yeah, go and It's almost like telepathy. You know, it's almost right. like telepathy in a sense. Yeah. Or narcolepsy. Um, yeah. Either or. So. <laughs> I just wanted to sound like I had a big word. Um, <laughs> so, so it was, uh, it, it's, it's certain things like that when you can dig in and you're, you're starting to uh, be able to, to dig in more, not just go through sure. the motions. It's, it's mm-hmm. where you can open up with other musicians and, you know, Justin being one of them, you know, it, 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 anytime Justin and I play together or, it, and stuff like that, it's never the same way twice, No, you know, and it's, it was the same thing with Dashboard Nixon. I, I'll be freely open. I think Dashboard, when we first started, when it was Keith, I, Gary, and Pat, mm-hmm. and, and I'll, I'll, I'll be very – I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That was such a magical – Oh, yeah. Us. It was. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, I agree. There was, there, there, was, there was magic. Yeah. But then I felt like we started going through the motions. We yeah. started calling it in. And I, yeah, that's, yeah. When it, that's when it – was not fun anymore. Well, back to dashboard. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be uh, funny. And it's, it's a funny thing to mention, but I, I mean, dashboard is the reason why I'm obsessed with Toto these days. Cause you guys introduced me in a sense to like, you know, I always knew those songs, Rosanna, yeah. Home Alive, yeah. Africa, yeah. but like when yeah. you guys did them, there was something about it. And it, and it, you know, that introduced me to, to Toto in a sense. So I have you guys to thank, thank for it. And also Showtime as you guys to thank for it. You're because, right. you know, we started doing it after well, you guys, I, I, and that's you know. the whole thing. It's it's like you know, it, well, so and so does this cover, and so and so does this cover in the area, yeah. and it's like who it's cares? Gonna happen. I mean, they're, it's gonna they're all there. Who cares? <clears throat> yeah. you didn't write the song. Just go and play it. Exactly. Just do your, play it. Do, You're do doing your, your own version way. Right. of it. You know, anything I look at, it's like a tip of the hat. You know, any yeah. anytime you do a song and the way you cover a song and everything like right. that, it's a tip of the hat. It, and you want to, in those, it, it, especially in dashboard, was like. We we're just pulling everything, you know. Gary yeah. knew all the Boston stuff, so right. let's play it. Well, you guys you know? were doing stuff that nobody else was doing. That was the thing, right. you know what I mean? Well, but keep yeah. in mind, keep in mind, yeah. we're all just stupid cover musicians, though. Keep that in mind. Well, absolutely. <laughs> have you learned? Have you learned the Easy Lover correctly? Because that guy is going to send you some more hate mail. You know, you I don't... actually found I actually found two or, <laughs> I actually found two or three videos of uh, of guys teaching how to play Easy Lover. And they both do the same thing that I, I literally, I, 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 I learned it by care. ear, but for some reason I played it the right way. I have no idea, but it was funny. Your, uh, what, uh, your whatever. comments were great. I yeah, appreciate Uncle that. St- Uncle Steve doesn't mind. Uncle Steve <laughs> does not mind. He thought it was great. <laughs> Uncle Steve. Yeah. I am going to send him a message saying, I'll give you 750 for everything in your, in your background oh, picture. He's got these beautiful music mans. And oh yeah. They're gorgeous. I can, All I the can loops, just, yeah. I can just tell he's a dick, so I'm gonna uh, lowball and see if I buy it. It's like, come on, stop. Think you're big. I, I, I that drives me nuts. When sure, sure. Sitting there and mm, he didn't, he didn't do that pull off correctly. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you got the arm crossed down, that's for sure. Oh yeah, you got the arm crossed down, absolutely. Yeah, I, so, uh, yeah. one one quick thing, I know we got to run uh, soon, uh, but the, uh, one quick thing, I need I need to hear one good Roscoe story. Ah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. God, Let's sit back for this one. Uh, yeah, that's me, me, see, see, you, you, you asked me what? if I had questions. I've been rolling yeah. with this, man. I didn't you know, have the, one, down. the one that I always, Great, I love this. I mean, there is so many, you know, so oh, yeah. many Raska stories. The best one I always remember, this, this one always 
like sticks in my mind. We were playing brownies one night. We got finished up, and you know, my father. And this is when we had the big Goodly Page production. Uh, you know, Roscoe was doing lighting. Daryl, I think Daryl was with us. If not, it was Crazy Jimmy. Um, and then uh, Frenchie. Do you remember Frenchie, the drummer from the Kiss band at all? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah French. Yeah. Right. So he he would come out and hang with the band and stuff like that. And I remember we got done one night, and there was this big dude that was like kind of screwing with Tallarico and started mouthing off Tallarico. And Tallarico will give it back. You know, Mike sure. is one of the night. Mike will give you the shirt off his back, but yeah, Mike yeah. gets pissed. He'll get you know he'll get pissed. And uh, the guy was kind of mouthing off to him. And I don't know, something happened. Then two guys like showed up with this guy, right? And um, uh, you know, Marty, Marty Lupio, Justin, he, he's a cop. No. He was a cop. He was a cop in Herkimer. Oh, so Marty Lupino. 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 Excuse me. Yeah. I just, I, know, I just sold him yep. a trailer. He said, yeah. I just saw him. So he would, he showed up and all the other cops showed up. And this guy was kind of a monster. So it took all the guys to kind of take him down because he started sure. swinging the cops and, oh, wow. and all that stuff. And, yeah. and Marty actually shot himself himself with pepper spray as well. <laughs> I remember oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Roscoe's there during this whole entire thing. And these two kids started mouthing off to Roscoe, which don't, don't do. You just don't do that. And no, he can make course, you feel this big with yes, words. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, of course, Roscoe has his Michael Jackson uh, gloves on. You know, that's what I always call him. It's his work gloves. The, finger, the fingerless gloves. Yeah. The fingerless gloves <laughs> and his mag flashlight and keys, right? And so, because he would always go, anytime, like, something would break, and, you know, real quick, not to go away from the story, anytime, like, a light went out or something yeah. would go out, you'd see Roscoe. I can't really hear. Let me see if I can do this justice. But he would always go like this. He would walk, go, fuck. <laughs> across, the, across the floor, right? I know that all too well. Right? Yes, right? yes. So, <laughs> right? So, um, he, uh, getting back to the story, so Roscoe, uh, the kids start mouthing off to Roscoe, and Matt's sitting there standing next to me, and Roscoe turns around and just hands the mag flashlight and his his keys and I think he even took off his Michael Jackson gloves at the time. <laughs> and, and he goes, I'll give you the – Roscoe goes, I'll give you the freaking count of three to apologize and move along. One, two. And the guy goes, you old man. And Roscoe pulls the guy, pulls him on top of him, right? So it looks like the guy's attacking him. Punches him in the face multiple times. Knocks the son of a bitch's teeth out. And the kid gets up and he's bleeding. He goes, "Oh, that's not good." <laughs> <laughs> and of course, like Roscoe, in the middle of the time, it's like sitting there goes, "I don't care, fucking senator son, stop! You don't talk to me that way." And yeah, he pounded the shit out of him. The kid wow. along his way. Roscoe got off free and clear, and that was it. So it was uh, that that one always sticks to me. But there's there's sure. there is too many Roscoe stories to even oh yeah even even, even begin I remember you guys he, you guys were lucky you spent a lot of time with Roscoe and I mean I know now oh, yeah. he's he's such a respected uh member of the music community and it's uh, it's funny like you see Roscoe come into a gig that you're playing and you're like you're like okay you oh, know my you gotta, God. You, you almost, I, it's it's funny because like I feel like I gotta play I gotta play good you know what I mean well, Roscoe he'd, <laughs> you know? he'd always call me the kid that's how kid. Yeah. that's how he is in fact when when I had my martial cabinets and stuff like that you know I'm mm -hmm. 16 years old I painted the kid on the side yeah and uh, um, I remember I sold those cabinet uh, the 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 Kelzone cases back to um, Joe Bonamassa. I sold them to Lenny yeah. and then Joe bought them. And supposedly Lenny had told me the one time is that that I, it was somebody big that was a guitar player. He kept the kid on there. It said Joe Bademasa instead of the kid. He kept like one of them on there, then paint on there or something like yeah. that. <laughs> and, and so some big guitar player came up and goes, "Who the fuck's the kid?" <laughs> just came up to him. <laughs> so I always thought that was pretty cool. But That's awesome. Yeah. He's like he's like some fat kid from Central New York. So. Oh man. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. your, brother, your, your brother is saying that music is the reason why you two don't get along anymore. You think you two maybe would do a live stream? I think that would be comedy gold if you two did a live oh, yeah. stream throughout this They pandemic. wouldn't play any music, though. They wouldn't play any music. It'd just be yeah. like Laurel and Hardy, like Abbott. Yeah. Well, well, it's, it's, right. you know, oh, yeah. Once it gets over that infection, we'd consider it. <laughs> 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 Still swinging, dude. Yep. He's oh, yeah. oh, wait, you punch. <laughs> right in the JJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, Z, in a couple weeks at least, we got to have Tim back on to at least retaliate. I mean, I feel bad that he's retaliating through 475 comments on the he's page not right gonna, now. He's not going to win. He's never no, I know he won't win. I will I always be better. And this you is know. the thing earlier when I made the post and I put, he was like, no, you got to have us both on coming together. And I'm like, I, I, we got to ease into that because it would yeah. be a little too much overload, you know? So maybe we should just <laughs> flip flop. We'll flip flop. We'll flip flop. Either yeah. that or maybe, you know, in a couple, a couple, maybe in a month or so, like, we'll get a bolt on and like Z and I will just pop out and like let just the two of you guys in the frame that's it. Yeah, just yeah. go for an hour. Have we'll let it. you take over. Comedy gold. That's right. Right. Yes. Flip flip. Flip flops. Tim loves flip flops. He wears flip flops and hairy feet. <laughs> Stop touching everything, Jeff. You're ruining time. Sorry, I, I'm 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 fi fixing the aluminum foil on the back of my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just got to give a shout out to Todd. He's our wonderful uh, producer, making everything work uh, right. So thanks, Todd. Appreciate it, man. I know Todd's it's difficult it. today. No, it's difficult it's, today. It's, he's got to deal with me every day. It's I know, right? every day for him. Yeah, and then but the past you, two weeks, he's got to deal with both Moyers with shitty Wi-Fi. Yeah, true. And I was all excited. <laughs> I got nice <laughs> Wi-Fi in this shop, and it's been a pile of shit all day. So. Both <laughs> Moyers got to yell, get off the internet. Yeah, get off the internet. <laughs> Mom, on the phone. Meet Lord. Meet Lord. Meet Lord. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys get in the fist? Did you ever like just reach out and haul up and slug him at any point? No, did he ever just, no, haul up and slug you. No, Mike from the bomb did it for me. So we we're yeah. all <laughs> right. Did you point and laugh? Or did you get I actually saw Mike in the back when it all went down. I pretend to be mad. I'm like, good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, good job. Tim, I yeah, that, that dude should have done yeah, that, Tim. Yeah, slip that. Yeah. <laughs> Shame on you. Well, the whole, the whole story that I heard was that it was your fault because you didn't hear that they talked about the song that they couldn't play. So uh, no, you started the I, song, uh, right? I forget what we played. It was like killing the name off or TNT. something like that. TNT. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I didn't hear Oh my God! I, I, where are you? I love Mikey. I really do. Mikey. Yeah, yeah, I me played, too. I I played with the bomb, and I tell yeah. you what, you want to talk? That was a party. It was oh, a yeah. party, especially when you're playing with um uh, Crossway. <laughs> oh yeah. So, <laughs> so um yeah, that was a that was a party. We had a good time. I, I had a good time. It was a lot of fun and stuff like that. But it was you know, Mike would get serious a little bit and, and yeah. he came up and goes, We're gonna play that song. I'm like, You didn't write it. I'm like, I didn't know that. I didn't do and he thought I did it on purpose. I go, Seriously, I didn't hear anything. I thought that was the song we were supposed to play, so I played it and it was that. that was the truth. I was calling it, and I don't give a shit. You up playing again? <laughs> so. uh, you got to hear. You got to hear the the uh, like on stage. Like <laughs> this all happened during the the set that we played, that Showtime played. So we're, yeah, we're Keith was just starting with you guys. Keith had just started song. with us. So we're on stage. It was it was it was uh, Gridley Page, or it was the Bomb, Gridley Page, and us, right? And uh, the Bomb was going on, I think, last. And it was so Gridley Page started. They played TNT. They finished their set. We go on. We play. It was like right after we got done playing, the curtain dropped, which I thought was the weirdest thing in the world. Like, why did they drop the curtain? That's really weird. All these people come off from the stage and they're like, oh, uh, yeah, do you guys, can you guys play another set? Uh, we're like, uh, yeah, sure. What's going on? Don't worry about it. It's all taken care of. Can you guys play another set? Yeah, yeah <laughs> we can play another set. All right. And then we played another set. I didn't find out until after. I was working for, for uh, you guys at the time, Jeff. I was working for you and, uh, and your dad. And, oh, uh, yeah. Did you know when that? When that whole thing went down. <laughs> yeah. You, Justin worked for us. I and did. I remember Justin and I, it was when I was starting the audio company and we, mm -hmm. it, it, during my transition. But Justin and I went to Staples one time and he totally bought it. 
oh. case. Kramer it to work by putting the Ritz crackers in it every single time. You got to start that again, man. You broke up. Do you hear me? No, now I can hear you. You bought a briefcase. You bought yeah. a briefcase, right? You remember buying a briefcase? Yeah, I still have it. He used to totally Cosmo Kramer it. He totally Cosmo Kramer it every time. He'd come in with some, some Ritz crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, can, I mean, I bought a briefcase. Justin, what do you got? Fucking rich bitch. Yeah, that was when Justin and I, that's when I got fat again. It's because Justin and I used to eat chili from Wendy's constantly. Oh, my every God, every day. day. He'd be like, Justin, uh, head down to Wendy's. Head down to Wendy's. Uh, give me uh, two chili. They're like 99 cents right now. Give me two chili. Uh, okay. Times so were of tough. Course, you know, times were guess, tough, you know. I mean, we started out. Guess who's back on the chili diet? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Times are tough. So. <laughs> Jeff, I got the base. I got the base I bought off yep. you right there. Yep, that's, the, that's old, a uh, the, the, the Spectre. Uh, it was not a Euro. That was the um, Legend series. I remember mm -hmm. that base. Yep. 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 But I made so much money on that. The Legend series. <laughs> <laughs> the markup yeah. was oh, like, I know. Markup I know. was like sixty percent. It was incredible. I can't believe you bought it. Like, I don't know, that <laughs> like two hundred. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. That thing. That thing was like a hundred dollars cost. It just sold it to you for twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's right, dude. It's premium. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm that, see you later, Jeff. Nice <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm about, I'm, about, I'm about to score some. Uh, I'm about to score some guitars from this guy that keeps telling Justin he's playing stuff wrong. I'm hoping to score for seven fifty. <laughs> Everything will be up for nine grand, but that's okay. <laughs> Times are tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <sighs> So uh, I, okay. I think there's talks well, there's there's talks of having Gary Johnson on next week. So what are your thoughts on that, Jeff? It's cool. <laughs> I love Gary. Any, is, no, is there anything is there anything that you want him to talk about? You know, now that we got you here. Yes, right? I do. Okay. Ask him ask him about the famous uh New Year's Eve. Okay. The New Year's Eve dashboard Nixon three piece story. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh, that, oh, there's, there's a, a picture. No, there, like you said, it's a great a, band. There's a picture that goes along with that story, too, if Gary can find it. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a classic. Oh, okay, I'll ask it's about that. It's classic, yes. And, uh, just because he said it, uh, my favorite dashboard moment for me, uh, because I, obviously I was playing all the time, so I didn't could see you guys that much, but uh, I went out, because uh, you were playing with Gridley, too, at the time, I think, when yes. you and I worked together. So, like, you had Dashboard and Gridley. So, like, you, we, we would go up to Syracuse together and you play with Gridley at Taste of Syracuse and then you do whatever. But I was with you guys for a Wednesday night at the, the Savoy. And uh, you had just – Molly had just joined the band. And uh, you were going to do uh, – it was, like, one of the first gigs. And you guys started – want to be starting something. And you guys did that one and it went into Love Shack, like, right after – I was, like – it was – I can't even explain how unbelievable it was. It was just it, like, like you said earlier, like how like there's certain bands you had that magic with, and I mean yep. that there was just something about that band, man. It was like you guys, yep. even when even when I know you say like you guys started phoning it in after a while, but even when you were phoning it in, it was still amazing. You know what I mean? Like it was still just good music. You guys are oh. picking music that nobody else is doing. You know, True. so. No. Well, I only heard part of that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously, the gods of Wi-Fi didn't feel that you needed to hear all of that. So, uh, you know, moving right along. I watched the, I watched okay, that the wasn't replay. mine. <laughs> we'll get the replay. We'll do it live. We'll yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to pre-record this next time. Now there we go. Gone. <laughs> okay, all right. There we go again. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> well, what do you got, Z? We got anything else? Hilarious, brother. <laughs> 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 I know. I, I'm ready to go celebrate the holiday. You know, my, my Wi-Fi was breaking up a little bit too because my phone will not stop ringing right now for some damn reason. So it's, uh, it's Tim. Tim is yeah, calling you right Tim, now. Yeah. <laughs> Let me on. Let me on. <laughs> Tag me in. Tag me, Tag me in. out. Try, push me in. You push me in. Hold on. I'm getting, getting my dial-up ready. I'm trying to ring. Get the fax machine. Keep ringing. I can't get in. <laughs> 
<laughs> if, there, if there's anything I did learn from today, that Jeff was prom king. That that I was. I yeah, never I knew that. What's Jeff up? Was the prom Heather, king. I heard a Heather Beebe was prom queen. I mean, who was prom queen your year? It was Saber Williams. It was actually the girl I went to the prom with. Oh, yep. all right. Okay. Yep. 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 I think she was like. A, I think she's a lobbyist in Washington, mm. and I sell trailers. <laughs> <laughs> we did well. <laughs> we, both, we both made it. <laughs> so, oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, you cracked me up. This has been great. I absolutely yeah, this enjoyed this. a lot this. of fun. We got to do this again. We'll stop. Yeah, absolutely. We have a better Wi Fi connection. We'll go to the house, maybe a Friday night or something like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe I mean, in I the think... car as you're parking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me in. I think, Let I me think in. honestly, uh, when this when this whole uh, Corona thing is over with, uh, you and you and Tim should get together in the same room. So yes. number one, you can fight each other. Number two, there's only one Wi-Fi connection we'll have to deal with. Oh yeah, yes. we'll share that too. We'll do it at Tim's house. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that'd I be love good. That. He's when, got when, he's. When... <laughs> He's got an old Motorola that he got from Dad. <laughs> <laughs> the flip phone. <laughs> I'm gonna pass this down. It's yours now. It was it. It was in his 1989 Mazda 929. <laughs> and no, just he dropped out too. But no, that is a great idea. Like when this all comes back yeah. and we're off quarantine and shit, we should all do this in the studio oh, and, yeah. and get together and have a bunch of laughs and and go for a while. It'll be. Lots I'm hoping. Of fun. I'm hoping that we're passing the audition here, see to you know make this a Monday thing, no matter what. So you know, God, this is great, man. I'm loving. I love this. it. Loving it. I love it. Make my job easy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I do, especially you get somebody on like Jeff, and it's just pure gold. It, oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's nonstop Always. laughing. So uh, I appreciate that, Jeff. If, <laughs> hey, uh, plug TM, plug your uh, trailer marketing service and all that stuff, man. Yeah, plug please your do. Business. <laughs> Jeff, balls. nobody can hear you. He's breaking balls. He's busting He's balls. balls. He's breaking balls. You son of a bitch. Oh, maybe he is muted. No, he's totally breaking no. balls right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Jeff You're Boyer, for being on our show. A... All right. And that's it for the show, folks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, <Trailer> marketing services. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> sold these pieces of shit. Oh, these were, I sold them to myself. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jeff. Appreciate everything, Thank man. you. Bye. No, on again soon. Can you plug, t plug trailer marketing service, please? <laughs> Trailer marketing services. Hold on. Where's my card? Here, yeah, yeah. Get your let's card do it right Let's see it. Uh, it's on. Well, it's gone. It's disappearing into the <laughs> fog. Yeah, into the fog. Is. Your That's card's me. in Frisco. That's me. <laughs> if you need to move out of the state of New York, I'm your guy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll, have, uh, we'll have Jeff on uh, soon again uh, with Tim, hopefully. And uh, next week, we got Gary Johnson on the show. So be sure to tune in. And... Uh, We'll figure out, uh, um, you know, the ins and outs between Jeff and, and Gary and the the, uh, the famed New Year's Eve gig. Oh. You know, <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, I was Pat excited Orlowski, for Pat Orlowski was part of that deal, too. So oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want that being told on here, to be quite frankly, now that I think about it. <laughs> well, either way, I'll say it to him, and if it gives him a laugh, he'll be all right. Oh, so. he'll laugh. Yeah. Oh, he'll laugh. He'll laugh. It's th this story sounds shady. It's, yeah, it, it does. It, it, it ended up with a trip to Denny's the next morning in Zycam. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, 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 I'm not making that up. That really happened. So that's, I that's believe it. it. So. All right, guys. Be much well. love to you, brother. Thanks Thank so much you. for doing this. Shout Thank out you everybody to Tim for Boyer tuning in. For all the abuse. <laughs> Peace out. Later. <laughs> <laughs>